today i will get started with how to connect to the database using a sql developer and uh, using the sql developer how to get started and we'll start creating a sample tables in the schema how can we create it what is a data type and all those things will understand okay so to connect to the database so as i said yesterday you need to have a, a username and password so that username uh, whatever the password and the host name port everything that will be provided by and the service name everything will be provided by your uh, admin team so when you say the username so basically uh, now i'll start connecting to the schema by using the hr user so they'll provide you the they, your own username and password so you just use that only don't use hr schema for it and the host name is uh, 192.168.1.81 and the port is let's say 1521 and the service name is orcl so this is what you need to use for logging into the database and now see whenever you want to install the sql developer just download that link sql developer is like a plug and play you don't need to install that software just download it and extract it and start using it okay so you'll have icon something like this if it is a latest sql developer version you'll have an icon something like this so you can just use this sql developer shortcut or whatever you have the icon just double click on it it will open up the oracle sql developer ui uh, basically uh, which helps you to execute the queries and all uh, let me just show you i mean let it open it's a default that's what we discussed right it's a default when you are installing yeah now see when i open my sql developer i already have some connections which are created for connecting to the database so when you open your sql developer for the first time you may not see any connections you have to start creating the connections and connecting to the database so now currently i'm using this many databases so i've used this many connections now let me show you how to create a connections first so go here click on this add a connection and enter the connection name you can give anything so let's say i give it as sql practice uh, connection name and enter the username as hr and the password whatever is provided to you when you are creating a connection you need to use a username and password what is provided to you when you are logging in right so save the password and the service name is going to be orcl and the host name if the database is installed in your local machine then you need to use it as a local host if the database is available somewhere in some other machine and you want to connect to that you need to enter the that host name so that is 192.168.1.81 and the port number is 1521 that's a default port what you have say in order to check whether i'm able to connect to the database or not so just click on test it says that success that means you are able to connect to the database from this see instead of entering every time this connection information you can actually click on save that means it will save all your credentials what you have entered with all the details you don't need to enter the uh, uh, the information every time you log in so just save it now this information will appear over here that is your sql practice No, host name will be changing because let's say I'm installing on 81, the host name becomes 81. And if I'm installing on 82, host name will become 82. So depending upon the machine IP, so what it is. No, it will not come. You have to enter it. Yeah. So now this is your SQL practice uh, connection, which it is there. Now, if I have to log into this, so how would I? Let me just close all these uh, connections which are already open. I mean, to say SQL worksheets. So this is something like this. So how can I add now? I mean, how can I log in? So just double click on this. It will open up the worksheet. So in this worksheet, you can start entering the, you can start entering, I mean, you can start executing the queries and all. See, by default, what is the case is that whenever 
you install the database some users by default it your oracle database itself will create so default schemas are here or you can call it as a default users or the default schemas so some schemas will get created like hr scott and different other things etc so for time being you just remember so under this schemas it will also create the tables also now we logged into hr schema if you actually expand this table section here it will actually show all the list of tables if i if you see there are some tables which are there and some of the tables we have created it when you go and see some by default it will create some tables and it will also add the data to those tables when you are installing the database so whenever you start you want to start creating your own tables and everything you can start creating it as is so first let's understand about how